Now, one business that's kind of thrived during this whole pandemic is the pizza industry. And now that restaurant is doing its part to help out fellow food spots in need. Our Jasmine Moreau is live this morning to explain how. Hello, Jasmine. Hey, good morning, Jason and Romney. I bet you guys would love to be where I am today. We're talking about pizza for a purpose. I have Anne. She's the owner and operator here joining me here this morning, along with her beautiful staff. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Good morning. And we have a, a live on-air pizza delivery from Colin. Is that right, Anne? Yes. Come on over, Come on, Colin. Colin. I wanted to try the pizza, and Colin said that he would do this for me. So, Colin, thank you so much. And you did cut it up, right? I, I don't did. have to just bite it on air. Oh, uh, you do not have to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I want to talk about this pizza for a purpose. Uh, why was it so important for you to decide to be a part of this? Because it's definitely about the customers and your staff. Yes. Well, in Ohio, there are 500, pre-COVID, there were almost 600,000 people employed in the restaurant industry. Roughly half of those are now on unemployment. 19% uh, of the state's employment is the restaurant industry. There is so much need in our industry, and we are so fortunate as a pizza shop to have never been ordered to be closed by the governor. When our doors were open, my friends at Dinan's restaurants were closed and their staff were laid off. Wow. So we are raising funds for the Restaurant Association Employee Relief Fund uh, every pepperoni pizza you buy at Angelina's or any participating restaurant, 120 all over the state of Ohio, wow. are all donating a dollar for each pizza sold this week to the relief fund. All right. I think that's well worth it because when people get a chance to see this pizza, and can you tell us what this pizza is and why this one is so special for this morning? This is our, we call it our legendary breakfast pizza. Ooh. Look how good that looks. All right. So it is you pizza can, dough, scrambled eggs, three different cheeses, and you can top it however you like, but order bacon. It's the best. <laughs> Always bacon. Anything bacon is the best. All right. So if anyone's interested in coming out here to come see you here in North Olmstead, how can they get Olmstead Falls. Um, Olmstead Falls, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> What's your address? Our address is 8155 Columbia Road. We're open 9 till 830 every day of the week. So starting tomorrow through next Sunday, order your pepperoni pizzas, even take and bake style and save them for Super Bowl. Perfect. Oh, let's talk about that Super Bowl too. All right. I want to take a piece of this pizza, Jason and Romney. You know, I got to go for the cheese pizza. I'm going to put this microphone down. Let's see how this goes. I was going to say, you got to take off your face mask I'm first. I'm so jealous. What a wonderful know, right. assignment. There we go. There we go. We got to be safe. Okay. okay there how's we go. it taste? How's it taste? <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's hot. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. don't burn yourself. Don't Just burn yourself now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So uh -oh. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. It's good. My hands were cold. Oh, it's, we're it's, it's hot, but it's good. Okay. All right, we're going to take it away so she can enjoy the rest of that pizza. <laughs> Welcome to the weekend morning team, Jasmine. Love that. There you go. Talk about an active live shot right I know, right? I love it here. <laughs> 9 10 this morning, and at 3 News, we want to do our part by rolling out a new initiative. So, to introduce it, we're actually going to take you all the way back to that difficult day where the governor delivered the worst news we've heard in a long time to the food industry. We'll be signing an order uh, that all bars in the state and all restaurants uh, will close at 9 o'clock tonight. How long this order will be in effect, uh, we don't frankly know. We've all seen restaurants close or switch to takeout and delivery only as they fight to stay alive and keep their employees employed. And fight to give all of us something to look forward to when we eat out. Yeah, it's something that three news food expert Doug Tratner says we don't always appreciate. I think we take our restaurants for granted. I think we take our chefs and our, and our, our restaurant employees for granted. I don't really think that we see the struggle that's going on behind the kitchen door. We just see the food, the great food, the fun times in the front, but it is. It's really hard right now. You can support them any way you can. Takeout business, buying gift certificates for the future, buying t-shirts, you know, anything you can do to help them just stay open one more day. You know, that could be the difference of seeing them in a, in a year or not. And that's why we're excited to kick off the Save Our Sauce campaign tomorrow morning on Go. So you're going to hear from a restaurant owner who's kept indoor dining closed since the pandemic actually 
started. And then every day from now until mid-March, 3 News will be highlighting restaurants in some of the biggest foodie neighborhoods in the Cleveland area. And you can watch them on Go and on What's Next, which is our 5 p.m. broadcast. You'll also be able to learn more about each restaurant online and weekly guides from Doug Tratner, all in an effort to help these guys who need us now the most.